Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will give you a basic tutorial on some Excel formulas, namely sum, sumif and countif. I did not want to explain the formulas literally, so I have used a sample scenario in which these formulas would be of use. If you like this video, please comment. If you'd like to see some specific Excel stuff, do comment on that too. So let's dive into the tutorial. As I've mentioned before, Today we will see the use of the formulas SUM, SUMIF, COUNT and COUNTIF. To understand the use of these formulas, I have generated a random table of subject marks for 25 students. The subjects you see here are Math, Language, History, Geography, Physics, Chemistry, Biology. There are 25 students in the class and in this column you can see whether the child is a boy or a girl. We will use this flag boy or a girl, G for a girl and B for a boy to calculate specific averages for boys and girls for various subjects. This will be done using SUMIF. So let's begin. Once we have all this data, you need to do some calculations. This is the raw data we have. The individual subject marks. What you would like to calculate is the number of subjects the student has passed in, the number of subjects the student has failed, what is the individual total and average and if the student has eventually passed or failed. You would also like to calculate subject wise performance for the whole class and also a boys average and a girls average for each subject. To calculate the first column that is the number of subject passed we would use the formula count if. The pass mark, let's say for this data, we would keep it as 41. So anything which is 40 and lower is failed and 41 and higher is passed. So we come to the cell L5, that is row number 5 and column number L. And you go to the formula bar and enter this formula count if. The range. So the range you would like to calculate is from the cell E5 which is the first mark up till K5 which is for the student number 1 and the criteria we want is to be in double quotes is greater than 40. Close the quotes, close the bracket and this will show that the number of subject passed is 7. Similarly, for the number of subjects failed, we will put a similar formula, count if the range, which is the same range again, and the criteria here will be less than 41. Once you entered the formulas for the number of subjects passed and number of subjects failed for the first student, you can copy these formulas for the remaining. All you need to do is just select the two cells. Right click, copy, and select the cells below them throughout the table, right click and paste. This would calculate for the individual students the number of subject passed and the number of subject failed. You can calculate the individual total by using the formula sum. Sum of and select the range again for each student. The individual average is the total number for all the subjects divided by number of subjects which in this case is 7 so you need to do is equal to the total by 7 to determine if a student has passed or failed we will use the flag that is the number of subject passed if the number of subject passed is 7 the student has passed if it is less than 7 the student has failed so we'll use the formula if here if the cell is less than 7, if this condition is true, the student has failed. If the condition is false, the student has passed. Now we can copy the formulas over the same thing. That is right click, copy and select the range of cells, right click. 
Now to make the average look similar, all you can do is select these cells, click on this tab and reduce the number of zeros. Calculate the subject average, we need to use the formula sum. So it's equal to sum of cell E5 to E29 because it contains all the marks of 25 students from math divided by 25 which is number of students. Number of pass can be calculated again using by formula count if just count if the range you again select the range from math comma condition which is greater than 40 and the number of fail again similar count if range with the criteria less than 41. Okay, copy this formula over to the remaining subjects and now you have each subject's individual performance. If you want to calculate the average of boys and girls for each subject, you can achieve that by using the formulas sum if and count. Sum if will let you sum only those cells that meet a particular criteria. So the range is the criteria range, which is here, it's either a boy or a girl. The criteria is it needs to be a boy and the sum range, which is the math scores. And to count the number of boys in these 25 students, we use the formula count if, which is count if the range again same D5 to do it D29 and the criteria again stays the same. This is how you calculate the average for boys for the subject. In this case, math. Again, we need to do this for a girl. All we can do is write the same formula, which is equal to sum if the range that's the criteria range what your criteria is which is a g for a girl and the sum range divided by finding the number of girls in this class which we can find by using the formula of count if again select the range and what your criteria is This will give you the average for girls for each subject. So the earlier formulas you could just copy and paste. Let's see if you can do the same thing here. So you copy these things and when you paste, all you get is error. Why has that happened? Because as you copy and paste, the range is shifting. So if you see for the boys average for math, your sum if range is D5 to D29. But when you copied and moved over, it became E5 to E29 and it could not find the B or the G character. Hence, the count if became 0 and so you have a divide by 0 error. So how do we fix this error? This can be done by first fixing the range which you don't want to change throughout all the subjects. So you go back to cell E35 and you select the range D5 to D29 which is if it's either a boy or a girl, it needs to be same for all the subjects. To freeze a particular range, you need to put a dollar symbol before that. So in this case, dollar D, dollar 25, dollar D, dollar 29. Similarly, in the count if, it's going to be dollar D, dollar 5, and dollar D, dollar 29. The range E5 to E29, which is the scores for math, needs to be left as it is because as you move to the next subjects, that is the language history, this column will change. Press enter. Similarly, do that for the girls. You do dollar D, dollar 5, dollar D, dollar 29, and in the count of Now you can copy and paste these ranges and you will get your answer. So when you cycle through the formulas, so this has E5 to E29, 
the next column will have F5 to F29 history as the accurate G5 to G29 and so on and so forth. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you want a copy of this excel file, do let me know and I can share it with you. Comment below if you want to see some other specific excel stuff. Till next time, ciao.